previously on Complete Games. So we've bred up our pack of raptors and we're going to attempt the artifact of the Skylord today. There we go. They've not been a bad choice for doing this particular cave. Welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and we continue with our journey to complete the centre map. And I have been busy in the background. First off, let's start off with the Argents. Check out Dead Man version 3. We've now got 50 points in health, 46 in melee damage. I mean, these Argents are looking really sweet. And I'm going to quit with the breeding on the Argents because we need to concentrate on some Apex predators here so these are a couple of female rexes that have just been skulking around the base that i've grabbed i haven't used kibble to tame these ones so they're not going to be particularly good but what i do need is to start producing kibble so we can get a hundred percent taming effectiveness on the creatures that we find so to do that we obviously need a greenhouse and i'm going to begin today's episode by building some sort of conservatory or greenhouse now, yesterday I spent all day decorating this interior and it was a bit of a pain. As you can remember, we had that giant rock in the center and as it turns out, I can't use that last locker, but the rest of them I can and I've hidden it pretty well, I feel. I'm really quite happy with the inside of this. Just over here, we've got a place to display all of the artifacts and I will collect all of the artifacts and fill everything up. There's 11 to collect on this map. However, we only need six of them and I will be breaking it down into which six that we need. I think I'm going to sort of put an essentials pack for what you need to know about completing the center map, but we're going to get all of the artifacts anyway, just as the Easter eggs. But I'm fairly happy with how this turned out and it was awkward. Of course, this building being in two halves but we managed to get there and click everything in in the end and I'm happy with how it turned out and I also like having the warehouse or the work area just out here so I'm happy with everything and how it's working so I've just got some parts in here to get our greenhouse started I've made a load of foundations and greenhouse panels we've got our pipe work as well now that's another thing i wanted to do on this map i want to avoid sticking a pipe all the way across the beach up to our greenhouse here and it does rain a couple of times a day at least on the center map so i think that's going to be more than enough to be able to power our greenhouse and our industrial cooker or at least i hope so Let's begin by just figuring out if this surface is flat enough for these foundations. And it looks like it. Now, anytime I've done a greenhouse build episode, I always get asked about how to hide your pipe work or how did I do the pipe work? And it's kind of, I do it by freehand, but one of the most important things I think is to do the pipe work before you put your greenhouse down. So let's just check what space we're working with here. We can go out one more that way. But I'm pretty sure that utilizing the water tanks is going to be more than enough on this map.
Well, that's the greenhouse up and running and I'm fairly happy with how it's turned out. Now, what I wanted to avoid was putting a load of nasty pipe work across the beach coming up the side of the cliff here. So we've managed to make a completely separate water network. I've put eight of these water tanks down and that's feeding six crop pots and one industrial cooker. And I think that's gonna be more than enough to make the kibble and ingredients that I need just in here. In fact, I'm gonna put it to the test right now and make some focal chili because I need to make the exceptional kibble. So we've got all of the ingredients here. Let's see how much water each one of these cost. I just step back. So it's costing 100 water so we can make 10 once the industrial cooker's full. And of course, there's a further five in each one of these water tanks here. I mean, that's going to be plenty. And that should mean that I don't have to walk down to the beach anymore. And if we do this while it's raining as well, which it does rain quite often, then we won't use any of the water in theory. This is going to be more than enough. And I'm going to head on out and get a male T-Rex so we can start making exceptional kibble. When it comes to the top tier of kibble, however, well, the only way we can get that on this map is Uteranus or the Hesperonus. There are no dragons on this map, no magmasaurs or anything else that we could use like rock drakes. So them eggs are going to be hard to find. And when it comes to the honey, I mean, we could just go out on the back of the bear and get some honey to make the Lazarus chowder, but the bottleneck really is the top tier of eggs. But we will get to that in good time. For now, my plan is to head on out to the volcano and find ourselves a reasonable male Rex. Okay, so there's a 140 male, which will do. And I just want to get its attention. Bring it just back over towards this high ground here. Get one more shot in. It's just had a roar. And that was a mistake. Oh, dead man. Oh, I thought I was right behind the bird. I've just messed up. This is bad. Oh dear, oh dear. Run, James. Uh, don't break your eye. Oh, that, I thought I was going to break my ankle down there. Okay. Come on, dead man. Follow me. Now, you can guarantee there's going to be carnos and raptors along this line here. Yeah, two raptors. All right, let's get round the back of them into the water. Come on, James, you got this. Come on. Dive into the water. Dead man just intercepted that raptor there. I heard it. Okay. Right. So... Let's just get away. Swim. Get my gun away. No! Piranhas! Quick! Dead man! Come on, come on. Oh, come on, you got this. Ooh! That was close. Wow. I really did get a bit cocky there. <laughs> that last shot in. Oh my word, we escaped barely on that one. Fortunately, the uh, raptors went for the Rex. Okay, that's just... Ah, oh, didn't bring any med bros. Let's just be a little bit more careful. Just take it slowly. That's it. Come on, over this way. Let's get to a better area. Come on. Okay, this is a much better position to be able to get some shots in. It's not going to be able to get up the side of this cliff here. Right, so we'll just scream and shout down there. So, now if we can knock this male out, I'll just have to prime meat, tame it. I haven't actually come across any mutton at all on this map, so. Right. Oh, it's managing to get up the side here. At least it's trying to. Yeah, I think it's going to struggle to get to me. If we can knock this out, I can start producing kibble. Okay, just one more. Turns out this is quite a good spot. It's just torpor run into the top corner there. Shouldn't have to worry about any critters coming to damage it. So this is 
quite a good position to take the T-Rex out at. So I'll have to use some prime meat and that will affect its taming effectiveness but it's the best we have and you know, 26 in oxygen I'm sure it's going to be an oxygen heavy one but I don't know it might get some weight so to be expected really he was never going to turn out as an ultimate rex but we got 32 points in weight there that might be useful 30 points in health I mean it's a start but more importantly we can start making kibble and with this and the two females we do stand a chance of being able to improve the stats on the rexes so it would be a little bit too much to ask I think if we could just prime meat tame and get the best possible outcome with stats so like I say we're gonna have to get that production chain set up now I don't necessarily know if we're gonna fight the boss with rexes but I am gonna do some of the caves with them okay so I've managed to get a dozen eggs together and of course as you can see it's actually raining right now but everything's ready and we can use fertilized eggs of course we don't have to wait for the rexes to lay eggs and that should give me a dozen kibble there so we will go out and have a look for some better numbers if I'm gonna start the breeding line I'd prefer to get some decent stats let's see if we can get above the mid 30s like I say I don't know if we're going to go on to fight the bosses with them. That really does depend on the saddles that drop. But in order to farm some of the caves on this map and stand a chance of getting some better loot, see what saddles we come across because I'm prepared to do this with something different than Rex's. So at the moment we're sitting at 33 weight, 35 health. 33 melee they're the best sort of stats that we have but I'm sure I'm going to be able to improve on those because there are tons of T-Rex on the center map if you can't find a good stat Rex on this map then you're doing something wrong so let's head back to the volcano okay a 145 T-Rex with 26 points in stamina and I know stamina is not the best stat to go with but you never know where the points are going to go in the end I kind of suspect that with 27 in food that this one is going to end up a foodie but I'm going to spend the day just taming as many wrecks as I can and we'll see what we end up with I'm sure we can do better than the mid 30 stats that we've got now Get your attention this time I'm not gonna run too far away from dead man especially at night time just check you're right next to me okay it's, it's just gone out of render and that rock oh no there it is okay I think that'll do it Let's just not take any unnecessary risks this time. Well, same outcome as last time. The T-Rex has managed to get into that little alcove in the corner. And as you can see, nothing's going to bother it up there. It's Torpor running into the best possible spot. So this is a really good spot to knock the T-Rex out on. So you just keep going in that direction. Hopefully this one's got some good points. Well, I'm not going to lie. It's taken a little bit of time to combine all of the stats of the T-Rex. But love it or hate it, this is what we're looking at. We've got this funky looking cyan Rex that came out with an extra weight mutation. And as you can see, pretty much most of the points that count are all in the plus 40 so I'm letting that one grow up for a full imprint over here we've got one health mutation and one melee mutation but base stat wise we're looking at plus 40 in everything that counts and as you can see health wise 
close to 10k health without an imprint so a really good set of base rexes and if you're looking for t-rex then i can personally recommend the center map to find them so i'm just going to let this cyan one grow up and you're going to help us out with the caves i've gone with the patron naming rights so carver thank you very much for the support over on patron much appreciated me and you are going to be going into the caves next time and hopefully we can come across some saddles now when it comes to defeating the bosses on this map it is going to come down to which saddles we come across i'm not necessarily going to go in there with t-rexes we might have found some good stat t-rexes that i'm building on the side but if we come across something like a megatherium saddle then i'm happy to start building an army in that direction i'd like to shake things up and do it differently if we can but i guess we'll just have to see what arc throws at us but until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you